What images come to your mind when you think of spelunking or caving? Me personally, I think of stupidity and I would rather be anywhere else but in a tight, confined space with potential water rising up to my nostrils. I don't understand how anyone finds this kind of thing fun. The funnest part about caving, to me, and spelunking, is you don't have to do it. You can just live your life and everything's okay. Me personally, you just wouldn't catch me dead doing this because I probably would die doing this. But today we're looking at a found footage slash analog horror based off of the first ever creepypasta that was ever written called Ted the Caver. I've never actually read Ted the Caver before, but I'm hoping that this does a good job translating the story into actual visuals. So we're watching a channel today called Alex Archives. The playlist is called Ted's Caving Journal. So I do believe it is definitely based off Ted the Caver. Once again, I know nothing about that story, so I'm relying on this found footage to bring it all together. Now, before the video starts, I want to give a couple of shout outs. The person who recommended this to me is on my Discord called Speaks forward slash Eddie. They say really good slash authentic spelunking horror. I'm pretty sure this is based off of an old creepypasta. I highly recommend it. Thank you for the suggestion, Speaks. I appreciate that, slash Eddie. There's also one other shout out I wanna give, and that is to a channel called Immortal Marcus. Now, if you follow me, you most likely follow Immortal Marcus. He's basically the analog horror reacting top tier YouTuber. He puts a lot of effort into his videos. The thing is, I try not to watch too many of their videos because I don't want to be influenced and in thinking that I'm copying them. But they are basically giving these analog creators so much more of a platform. And you know, I try to do exactly the same thing. So shout out to Immortal Marcus because I did see they reacted to this before I got the submission. Go check out Immortal Marcus. Go check out Alex Archives. And thank you, Speaks forward slash Eddie for the suggestion. Without further ado, guys, this is about two hours worth of analog horror found footage. Just get comfortable. This is gonna be an interesting watch. Thirty twelve two thousand. Floyd's tomb dot mp4. Okay, so alongside this video series, there is a website that you can check out. I don't know if this is its own version of Ted the Cable or if it's the actual original version. I'm not sure. I think this might be a modified version of the actual story because the actual story is on creepypasta.com. I believe. So if you guys want to check this out for yourself, go check it out. I'm not sure if I'll be checking it out. There's a lot to read here, but it basically just states what's happening in these videos. So this is called Floyd's Tomb. And if I'm not mistaken, Floyd's Tomb is an actual place. Uh, I believe it's called that because a dude called Floyd, I forgot his last name, uh, internet historian did a video on them, I believe. They, they got stuck underground. And there's this whole last story about how, you know, he, well, I don't want to ruin that actually. You guys should go check out that video for yourself. It's very, very interesting to watch. Let's just say that Nothing good ever came of spelunking. I've never seen someone's life, well, maybe their life did change because they almost died. Maybe that's why they do it, it's a high. I think it's on, that should be on. Um, all right, cool. Hi. How's um, it going, man? I'm Ted. Hey, Ted, no uh, worries. I'm I Baz. Mean, if, if some of you know me, you know me. If you don't, that's that's completely fine. Um, and He's, He sounds... This is a cave behind me. Uh, I cave, uh, spelunking, your cave exploration. This is a really fun hobby of mine. Is he South African? And today I brought a camera with me because I think I found something rather interesting okay. at the bottom of this cave. Or at least I remember I think I did. So we'll find out. You remember you think you did. Um, you remember you think you did. That's crazy. Uh, I brought the camera with to just navigate and date all of this you know, unexplored territory. Well, the cave is explored, but we'll figure that out later. So yeah, essentially this will act as like little little recordings or diaries of what goes on in the caves, which is super really? exciting. It's and, not very um, exciting. I don't know what to say. Uh, yeah, that should should be good. Um, I can show you the- Not much the of a vlogger. That me and I do have a friend- You know, ironically, me. it's the people that don't vlog often that come across as like the most realist people when they vlog because they're just, they're not trying to put on an act, you know, they're just being themselves. Um, uh, it's very natural. My light. Uh, me and a friend over there. That's, that's the good old- What should I call you? Well, I mean, I, I, you said you want to be anonymous, right? Yeah. Uh. Well, that's B, I guess. B. Why yeah. B? Because it's the first letter. 
It's the first letter of your name. Okay. Um, first letter of your name. So yeah, these. You're not being very anonymous right now. Let me just make sure you can see. Oh, did we lose the cave? I think it's there. Yeah, no, it's there. Oh, we're just zoomed in. Okay, I'm still figuring out how the cameras work. That looks like it's in focus. Okay, yes. So, um, this, I wanted to show you the cave. What am I doing? Right. <laughs> okay, let's Bro, let's come on. Get your head so screwed on. See, that his network. head isn't screwed on because he's doing this for a living. Well, not for a living, but for a hobby, guys. People do this for fun. Going to be abseiling down with... So we've got the oh my gear. god, no, and how no. This is the hole. It's in this little cave entrance. And it goes down a lot deeper. So there's a bit of a ledge. And then it goes down to the left, down even further. So we're just setting up the rope so we can get down in there. Why is and this a yeah, good idea? It's super, super exciting, actually. Um, yeah, so let me take... Let me put the captions on. Take you guys back outside. Back outside. So... They're gonna abseil down going. there. Now you guys can see. Sweet. All right. So yeah, that's the cave. Let's get on in and explore a bit. I hope you guys enjoy, and I hope this is a fantastic series documenting what we hope is a virgin passage because that a is virgin passage. unmarked territory, and that is super super exciting. So that is an exciting to me. Check it out. All right. Let me see if I can switch you off. Okay. So, you filming? Yeah. Alright. So, some of the tight crawl spaces. Oh shit, I don't know if I should match the angle. Some of the tight crawl spaces that we do have to go through to get to what we think is the version passage. So, mm -hmm. excited for that. Um, How did they do here. this? They must have found an actual on next time. cave. Yeah. Uh, you can switch it off now. Cool. Okay, well, yeah. that's why we wear helmets. Yeah, that's why I wear helmets. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's pretty tight spaces. <laughs> and you can see the roof is like right here, which is not ideal. Nope. He's going I was just thinking that guy who can, uh, that dude who can, like, uh, guess where you are on the map, you know, that geological guesser dude, he'll be able to look at the, like, the mountains and the trees and the sky and the clouds of outside and know exactly where this cave is. Um, there's a bit of a crouch. It's about an hour's trip towards the spot that we want to get to. Uh, so just watch your head, dude. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so almost there. I think things been about 40 minutes. Oh, yeah, it's opening up. All right. Cool. Upwards, I landed on my legs. Ah, I see. Well, at least you didn't fall. Mm. Imagine you broke your arm before. Yeah. Oh, doing all of this that'd be really bad that would yeah. suck trying to climb up a rope uh, with a broken arm should be down here right kid oh shit. i'll go get more rope okay no worries oh my why would you do this man you can see better but we need to hop down here yeah okay let's keep going you good cool uh, let me set up the torch down here. Right. So I wonder what. Because I've never okay. read the creepy pasta before, so it's super interesting to me. Like what could be down here? Should be. Other than the actual cave itself being absolutely horrendous and claustrophobic, you know. Dark. You can't see anything. With thousands of rock beneath you which i think is quite quite funny but uh yeah quite some rain dripping in the distance mm, mm. relaxing or is it i don't know what kind of freaking animals live here like spiders bats equipment. <laughs> <laughs> all right i think let's keep moving on this stuff all right what was that? Is that just rocks there? So quiet. Freaking basilisk. There he is. Is it on? Yeah, it's on. Oh, okay, cool. So, yeah, we, we, we got to the end. It's about, a, say, an hour's worth of a trip here, and then there'll be an hour's worth trip back. 
Um, so exciting stuff. An hour's we trip just to get where you are. Oh my which god! Which is really cool. Um, we didn't we didn't film it because just our, our lights are about to die. So we the just drones got the, you hear that drone sound quickly and then we get out. Um, so yeah, holes there. We did look in. It's about like three meters, I'd estimate, right? Mm. Yeah, about three meters um, from the, the the hole to where it widens up. But it, it why is, wide is this a good idea? I still to, don't understand. In, which I think is pretty exciting and also what's it saying again if it blows it goes <laughs> yeah so if it blows it goes meaning um if there's good airflow then that usually means that there's there's a good sign for a cave system behind oh interesting and that means that there's probably some like filter like wind coming in from another entrance point as well and it which is just awesome i'm super super excited so I if think it blows it goes is like cr is a crazy saying by the way of action then is we're probably going to go and fetch some some sledgehammers and drop oh what the what was that is that a bat oh it is look you can see it flap its wings sledgehammers and drill bits. oh what the hell that. um some sledgehammers oh. and drill bits and then also um a, an electric drill if we can get it i did suggest liquid nitrogen but there's no i way. wouldn't want to start messing around with the interior of a cave that sounds like a stupid idea that's how this floyd guy ended up getting stuck i think he was like hammering his way through some kind of cave system and then a rock ended up like weighing down on his legs and he couldn't get out because the more he struggled the more dust fell down on him so we had to just stay there. Wait, we're getting oh. that down. Oh! <laughs> but yeah, this it's a is horrible. an hour's worth of a trip through some crawling. I don't think we'd be able to get it. Damn, it's bats are aggressive. Yeah, so... It's bats don't think aggressive. We're get it down, um, which is unfortunate. Dynamite just, just won't work. I, I'd like to get out alive, please. Yeah. yeah, that's fair, that's fair. Dynamite? You're crazy. Well, I guess that is spelunking, right? Um, yeah, so... Hole's there. We're gonna open it up. And just a virgin passage. Unexplored territory. I mean... <laughs> That's exciting. That's so so exciting. Ah, oh, dude, it'd be, it'd be so cool. Anyway, this guy's very charismatic. I like, I like it. It's like he, he's not trying too hard. You know, he's just a guy that has a hobby, and you know he's passionate about it. And that really, it doesn't matter what you're passionate about, guys. If you're really passionate about it, that exuberates through you, and like you can capture people's attention just because you speak so highly and happily about what you love doing. Anyways, yeah. So I think. Before our batteries die, let's maybe head out out of here. We did we did name the passage as well, actually, which is I think this is pretty smart. B didn't think, but uh, we called it Floyd's tomb. Oh, Floyd's tomb. Okay, so uh, because I, it's such a such a tight squeeze. I feel okay, so no, this isn't based off of the actual Floyd's tomb. I feel like it's a uh, kind of morbid. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, oh, come on, it's gonna be it's gonna be really fun. I mean, I think if we can open it up unexplored territory that's why we have the camera so we can document it things could be awesome you yeah. know oh. okay so i initially thought that they were in Florida, but then again they would be in america if that was true and they would that's why they called it mystery cave because i was thinking now why is it called mystery cave if they're in floyd's this floyd's tomb place i'm just i'm really really excited yeah so explore floyd's tomb open it up get the the gear in here and um yeah i think that's super exciting so let's get out of here before our batteries die yeah yeah, okay. Yeah, you would not want to be stuck down there when your battery dies. That was a fantastic intro, although nothing really happened. It's building something up, you know. It feels super realistic with the way this guy is presenting himself. It genuinely it comes across as genuine and um, like they're very excited for this and innocent in, at the same time. And that's what makes some of the best horrors is that you go in with innocent intentions, right? And then you don't realize there's something sinister lying within whatever it is you're doing so that was a fantastic stat right there that was floyd's tomb we're going to move on to the next video Twenty-seven oh one two thousand one, 2001 mystery cave right so this is actually what 27 or 20 yeah like a, basically a month after the last video so I'm guessing a, probably a lot of, uh, well, not a lot, but a, quite a bit of progress has been made on the cave at this point. Yeah, I think it's on. All right. Huh. Hello, uh, it's Ted again. Um, so we're back. Uh, it's been about two-ish, two to three weeks, I think, yeah. since our last trip here to Mystery Cave. And I realized 
We didn't really tell you guys where this, this place is, which I think we did for good reason. We don't want you guys, you know, finding this place. Not because we're, we're like selfish or anything. It's, it's just because you're selfish, yeah. You know, I think for, for everyone's safety, it is a local cave and it is, you know, known in the area. But just for now, while we make this, I think we'll just keep it as Mystery Cave, which I think is a fun name. Yeah. Very. Yeah, it's not too bad. Very. So, it's a bit on the nose. It grabs the attention. Okay, yeah, fair. But, I mean, what else are we going to name it? Cave? Anyways, so we also realized that we don't need to take our harnesses in all the way anymore. So we can actually leave these guys here. Really? So, yeah, after that the abseil seem... down, which takes about 20 minutes. A 20 um, minute abseil. We'll take our harnesses off, leave most of the gear at the front of the cave. And then we also, we brought tools this time. We brought tools to excavate the hole. Let me show you guys what we have actually. Oh yeah, here we go. Um, yeah, so essentially what we got is classic gear. Uh, let me show you guys with the camera itself. <laughs> so basically, very basic. We got classic hammer, uh, a bullpen, or you know, just a really, really big nail, whatever you want to call it. Okay. And then the classic old Dewalt electric drill, which I think uh, will be a good start to what we want to. So they're trying to widen I think I this, like this cave yeah. entrance, basically. So, yeah. Because they they believe that that this cave, this little narrow space will lead to a whole cave, I guess, a whole cavern. And is that the whole point of this? Like exploring new things that potentially hasn't been found by anyone else? Is that what the high is here? I, I'm struggling to, to get on board with why this is fun to do. It's a bit of a hassle getting all of the tools down to the hole. I think we'll leave some of it in the cave depending on how we feel later and yeah let's just let's just let's show you guys the hole because i realized i didn't do that the last one so i do love running water i'm a sucker for it <sighs> like get me next to Mother some running water, water man and i just feel at peace i feel one with nature like a lot of rain but water. not in the middle of a cave hell no i don't know if we'll be able to get through this without staying drop ah no ah. shit Got my shoes soaked. Damn it. Oh. Why would you not come down in like boots? Right. I guess it's because you need. Oh, I don't know. You need it to be lightweight, maybe. I think we'll have to go around there. Yeah. As soon as I'm seeing water building up in a cave, you consider me out. I mean, I wouldn't be in here in the first place. I want to make that perfectly clear if I haven't already. Here we are. The water promised. mixed with. There it is. A cave. <sighs> oh no. What is this? The hole. The hole. Can't see it very well. Bro, that's barely a hole. What are you gonna? Focus it there. Oh my Let's god. Take my headlamp off. Okay, so they're gonna drill through to whatever's on the other side here. It's there. You see? What? So what are we looking at, bro? Hardened type of rope into it. Um, let's see if we can get more. Yeah. See, so it goes further. Camera can't pick it up too well. No, uh, not really. Hold on. Oh, are they pushing that rope down to see how far it's going? Right. Or? So we basically we shoved this in, me and B, to gauge how far it went in. That's why we estimate about three meters, just because. Well, that's how deep the rope the sort of hit. It's very okay. stiffened. Three and, meters. Um, yeah. Essentially, we're gonna try and get rid of all. Wait, of you saw this? I guess it's because there was wind blowing out of this hole, right? And they thought, okay, that means that there's some kind of cave on the other side. But they saw this and thought, let's drill through this thing. Do you not think of like the infrastructure or like the the structural like of the cave? Like, surely you'd need to be some kind of engineer to know if I drill through this, it's gonna be perfectly fine. Because surely it would like cave in. Uh, especially this big one, and then hopefully we can fit through. So that'll be the progress. The rock is pretty thin, and I think I can sort of fit my hand in there, as you can see, which is quite exciting. And essentially, this is where we're going to be spending most of our time. Okay. Working, You're going to like camp out there, mining, or mining, spelunking at the hole. So yeah, essentially, where B is standing, and if you can see it very well, could there, there be gold? Where B is standing? Is that what they're looking is for? Where we will be on our knees, and then the hole's just a bit to the side, and right. we will be. <sighs> very hard at work, sweating and getting rid of 
the rock around the hole that you just Not the saw. rock? All what right. did Dwayne Johnson do? I think we can begin. Cool. I like how authentic this feels. It feels super authentic. This is what a found footage is meant to feel like. There's some found footage out there where you think, oh, I know this is a movie or I know this is a thing. But this genuinely feels like they found something. And, okay. you know, this is how it's meant uh, to feel. I just wouldn't trust that at all. How do you not know that that thing is going to like drop on you? Oh, listen to that. Oh, there's footsteps on the left. You good over there? Yeah, it's just an awkward position. There's someone on his left. You can't get your knees, but you can kind of stand. But you Did you hear stand that? On your knees. Uh, just weird. Okay. Uh, swap out? Yeah, I think swap out. Yeah. Well, we're making some progress. I think, let me show you, let me show the camera what kind of progress. You can come and start along. Maybe this is the closest right. you'll feel to exploring new, like, because the world has basically been mapped out yeah, at this did. point. Yeah, I mean, there are some isolated right, areas yeah, that maybe haven't been discovered th thoroughly. Camera, what I mean by progress. But I imagine that doing something like this is like finding your own, like, like new part of so, something. Essentially, so you can barely see where it is. Ah, okay, cool. So, what I mean by progress is, um, we're busy hitting with the hammer and chisel as well as just the drill. But what kind of progress we make is this is about the size of the rock that we chip off, which isn't bad. It's about the size of like a thumbnail, which is, which is nice. Um, but really what's nice is when you break something off like this, which is just a much larger piece. Yeah. Kind of like the size of your palm, which yeah. is fantastic. I think this was B's handiwork which uh, <laughs> I'll hopefully get a piece like this just now. But yeah, so this is about- I love the authenticity, it's, it's so great, it's really good. Is, um, so yeah, I think- Nothing uh, bad's gonna happen to this, to work, this guy yeah. is there. Hmm. Put, put that there for now. All right, you can go and rest. Right, right, they're going to town on this cave, my God. I'll probably cut some of this up, guys, just because it's a bit repetitive. Well, not repetitive, but there's a lot of dead, dead air. Uh, it's the way it's meant to be. Oh, not every time. Be this drill is really okay, so every time we hear this droney sound, it's wanting us to pay attention to something. So let's listen in. Nice. <laughs> All right. There it is again. Continue. Footsteps. <laughs> Applause. So. There's someone, I mean, if you think about that, guys, like if, if that isn't the footsteps of someone that's actually here or Ted or B or whatever this other guy is called, that means, because there's apparently there's no other entrance that maybe there is, I don't know. That means they've been living in this cave, whoever it is, which means that it can't be human because there's no way a human can survive in these conditions without like surplus amount of water and food. And that's current, like, like running water obviously through the cave, but the only things you can eat are bats. And unless you're no big boss, you're gonna have a hard time just living off of bats. There's that whole theory of hollow earth. I remember hearing that theory that there's the whole ass civilization living inside of earth. Earth and Earth's hollow. I don't believe that personally, but maybe this is like part of that. You know what? I think. I actually think that's that's gonna be it. Oh. Oh, uh, my camera just stopped recording. All right, so they finished the drilling and hammering away. It's probably a good idea to head back anyway. Yeah, how long have we been here? It's been. Oh, oh, oh. He does sound South yeah, African or like Kiwi. He keeps Helmet. banging his fucking head. <laughs> yeah, I know how many. Um, Around five or six hours, I think. Why would you? Yeah, I mean, why would you not go into this sharp? Think how many sharp. I'd go in like with lightweight body armor on. I'm not lying. Like a full body suit. I don't know. An airsoft suit or something. Yes. Okay. Yeah, battery life is about three hours, right? Yeah. yeah, and we're on like our second bat. Yeah. So, yeah. More footsteps. Um... I think then, yeah, let's, let's, let's pack up the stuff. I think we did some pretty, some pretty good progress. Mm. Yeah, hopefully. Can I just say, this is extra, like, I don't mean to keep pausing, guys, but, you know, I need to chuck, chuck in my two cents every now and then. This is so underrated right now. This doesn't have as many views as it should have. It's crazy that things like this exist and they just don't get the attention that it deserves. And I'm hoping over time um, that it does get yeah, more and more. I think maybe tomorrow, it is a bit slower than views. I thought it would be. 
like with the chunk pieces that I showed you. But uh, I think it's decent progress. So maybe tomorrow. That'd be exciting. That would be good. Yeah. I still, so are they camping I out here? Don't, I mean, the breeze is nice. Don't get me wrong. The wind blowing. But the rumbling, man, it's confusing me a bit. The yeah, rumbling, it's yeah. The highways or. The uh, highways. No animal or something. We haven't seen bats here, so. Yeah, it could be the trucks. Heck, might even be something with all the rain we've been getting. Yeah. So they're I aware of. The, are they not hearing these footsteps though? On like on the left side. Maybe. Mm. I think we should ask some some more friends, just what that could be, because that. I don't know, because it's not a consistent rumbling. It's like it comes and goes, which I think is kind of strange. <laughs> yeah. They oh, have no yeah. survivability. Well, so, I mean, maybe yeah, they... The wind. Obviously, they've done this for so long that they, it's that's new to them. And they obviously don't think about monsters or whatever or like... Because they're logical thinkers. Because it is getting pretty hot in here. So I think let's call it a day. I think we'll start packing up some stuff. Oh, yeah. But dude, we're, we're doing it. We're opening doing the uh, You gotta think, oh, after okay. doing all this, they've gotta then abseil <laughs> back up. What we can do is we can leave the, the tools here and then maybe um, uh, probably come back tomorrow. Maybe we can get a motel. Because I think the progress we're making is pretty decent, so. A motel? Yeah. Oh, Bro, do you have like a change of clothes? A yeah, I'll, I'll pay, don't worry. <laughs> um, yeah, so then I think we can just come back tomorrow and then continue work. Yeah. Do you have a change right. of clothes, buddy? Uh, let me switch this. Dirty and sweaty. Okay, I, I really like this. Like, it's genuinely, like, gripping me in. Like, nothing's really happening except that rumbling sound we hear in the footsteps. But that's enough to kind of think... It's, I always say it. It's the mystery of something. It's the mind-made monster that you think of when you're watching stuff like this. That's what keeps you hooked. Like, in your mind, you're thinking, what is that? What could it be? And they kind of, like, give you bits and pieces here and there that kind of you know keep that imagination flowing and i think that's what makes the best horrors for sure so we're going to jump in now to the third video Twenty eight oh one two thousand one. 2001 caving information mp4 Okay, so this is a day after the video that we just saw. This one's 23 minutes. This is the longest one so far, guys. Okay, back at the hall. All right, um... Get comfortable. B, I'm gonna go film the rest of the, the route for them. Yeah. I'll probably uh, cut this up good. a little bit. Yeah, that'll be good. All right, okay, cool. Uh, all right. Yeah, I think I'll be about two hours because it's an hour there and then an hour back. So we'll see how well that goes. Wow. Yeah. All right. Okay. I'll be back. Having to like okay, and travel for an hour oh, right. inside a cave is just horrible. Hello. Again, it's Ted. And uh, you might have just seen me and B at the hole. I left B there to just dig while I'm oh, going God. to show you the whole route of the cave. As well as explain the some whole things. Route? Because I realized essentially I'm making these videos for me. For the most part. Uh, it's just to document the process. And... I realized that anyone watching, I just sort of assumed that they would be cavers as well and know what I'm showing and talking about. Mm -hmm. And I realized, you know, that might, you know, hit or miss with some information, which, you know, I want to expand upon just to help you sort of get the feeling and the idea of what caving really feels like, because I think that's a very important thing. Um, so that's why today's video might be a bit different, or at least what I'm filming. And yeah, so Mystery Cave, we are outside in the dark. This is Mystery Cave behind me. There are a few bats in there. And essentially, Mystery Cave, the information that I'll, I'll give you is, I think it was found about, or was discovered about 60, 70 years ago oh, okay. by the locals in the area. And I think that was due to mining. Yeah, yeah. I think that was due to mining or trying to find, you know- The only thing I can relate this to is when you're playing Minecraft and you discover a big cave system and you think to yourself, oh man, think about like the, the potential minerals here, or like the diamonds or you know what I mean? But like these guys, I don't think they're looking for diamonds. That's the thing. So I'm trying to think what, what is it just exploring a new cave? Resources I don't in know. The area. 
And yeah, it's really only locals and then a few avid cavers that actually know of this specific cave. And due to the locals, there is a, quite a bit of graffiti and, you know, trash in the early sections of the cave, which is quite unfortunate. It really is a, it's a common occurrence, unfortunately, and it, we, it, we hate to see it, honestly. But me and B do try and clean or like scrub some of the graffiti off or pick up a can or two on the way out just to help make it look a bit nicer. But luckily, some of the most of the lower sections of the cave, fortunately, haven't been touched. So there are some really nice formations down there that I hope I'll show you later mm -hmm. um, of what it, it looks like in a cave. It's really, really beautiful. And essentially, I think that'll be it, honestly, for Mystery Cave. Well, well I mean, as much it's as pitch the black. I want to give you. We have the hole with the rappel point down. Right, here and we go. It, it looks a bit intimidating. I, I might have skipped ahead a bit here, guys. He was just going through what like equipment he uses to do this. You guys should definitely go check out the original video. The channel, like I said, will be in the description. So go check it out for yourself. It's all very interesting stuff. But for the sake of like horror, I'm going to cut Quite through. Fun. And like pacing and stuff, you know. The first section, like I said previously, uh, it drops down there. And then it goes a little bit deeper to the left and then it drops even further down. All right, so I'm gonna it's very hook myself ominous. up to the old rope, uh, descend down into Mystery Cave and then take you along the route that we have to get to Floyd's tomb. So let's let's get, get in there, I guess. There's no easier way to say it. Okay. Oh, so. Essentially, um, after repelling down, repelling takes about, um, I'd say like 15, 20 minutes. 15, 20 minutes of repelling. It's always tricky to get off. It's not tight crawls, but one or two crawls that we need to go through to get to the hole. And this most certainly won't help with that. Right. So we basically just What's the, what are the odds, right, that they're gonna one of these times they're gonna come back and the harnesses aren't gonna be there, or maybe the rope isn't gonna be there to climb back up, and they're gonna be trapped down in this cave with whatever the hell? Because it's alluring to the fact that there is something in this cave, right? So let's show you the route. I mean, this is great, man. We can see loads here. Um, what is kind of interesting actually, is that we're not too deep yet. So we actually have tree roots mm -hmm. seeping through the rock here. This is what this is, which is really cool. Uh, it is quite wet due to all the rainwater. And then there you can see some small formations starting to form. Okay, what does that mean? I think rock formations cool. all right so i'm gonna hop in here it's turning like it red to the what's at the left here but so let me get down in there and then i'll show you more of the route all right okay man this does not right, look so fun it's knackering the as well i'm walking on a bit I can imagine how much get your body aches cavern and then it goes further down that way but yeah, here's some of the graffiti. I don't know if you can see it very well. It's a bit bright. Here's some of the graffiti, which isn't nice, I'll be honest. So yeah, we do try and clean some of it off when we come back. Graffiti? I mean, someone's been there before. Down or like, hang on, hang on. Which isn't nice. Bright. Here's some of the graffiti. Yeah, so someone's been there before. Yeah, so there's a bit of a lip here. Graffiti. Could that just be... Hmm. Maybe that's like foreshadowing or something. This is one hell of a route. Why did he have to go back again? Then we need to come up this way. I would get lost so easily. So really, this is all caving is. Yeah. He's uh, just enjoying the... The crawl. Really? In the destination. There's so many other things you can do. Try golf, man. That you are. Try rock climbing. Underground. 
it's dripping. Dripping. Okay. I need to get up here. Right. Okay. I think this way. So we take. You can just hear like that. The absolute <laughs> silence would be so unnerving to me. Like, am I the literally the only person here? It's like you know. I get, I get the same feeling as you know when you're in the ocean and you think it's dark around you. I mean, you have a light when it comes to caving, you know. You can have a light underwater as well, obviously. But it's just the not knowing what's around you and feeling completely isolated and like... There's a lot of bad poo. <laughs> no, that's not good. Oh, okay. oh my god, and you're crawling through that crap as well, literally. Uh, this is interesting, actually. Let me show you this. Oh. <sighs> So, over here, we have popcorn. Popcorn? Um, now you're probably wondering, what is that? Ted, what is popcorn? Well, popcorn, my friends, who don't know caves, is essentially little, like, spiky rock formations. Oh, God. That hurt. Banging your head against when them. sliding against. Yeah, I can imagine. I can tell you that from experience. But... Yeah, I don't know if the camera is picking it up too well. But yeah, it's these little, little intrusions or protrusions coming out of the the rock. Yeah. But now, why popcorn? Well, because it kind of looks like popcorn. This is very dirty, though. That's the best way I can describe it. Uh -huh. Because this is such a traveled route. Oh, another bad. Um, essentially, these get used as handholds, footholds, the likes. Continue forwards. Well, upwards. We have to go up and then it dips down again. Interesting. So let me go around here. Sometimes in order to go and up, you have to go down. We're climb up over there. Okay. Let me just take a breath. Oh, God. Admire the cave. Admire the cave. I'll just, I wouldn't be able to stand in silence. Just listen to that. Well, I mean, it's obviously different for us. Oh, Jesus, I thought that was something there then. It's different for us because it we're hearing quiet. like a the camera kind of sound. Oh man, it's quiet. But I imagine it's super quiet in person. You know what? Let me show you something. This is a nice time uh -huh. to teach you all a lesson. Not sounding like that, of course. Let me yeah. just rest you on a rock here. That sounds a bit weird, Ted. When you get to a deeper section of the cave, what's always, yeah, what's something I always do is, uh, well, my friend just found the button. Oh, you see how dark it is. Switch I, off the lights. I mean, I say that it's terrifying, but oddly that would be super relaxing at the same time. I mean, if you know your way out and you know how to get out of there, and maybe you know there's nothing in there with you, it could potentially be relaxing. But at the same time, I would be constantly questioning, I don't know, there'd be too much going through my head. Have I got enough food? Have I got enough water? What if something goes wrong? What if a rope breaks? What if blah, 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 blah. But I guess an experienced caver has all of these mapped out before they go into the cave. I'm just inexperienced just and, and a little bit silly. So a little bit stupid, in okay? pitch darkness. Now, I wonder what B's doing right now. Your hand in front of your face. No, it's a I... fun exercise. A fun exercise. Do you reckon that strengthens the eyes? You know, Just... something where, like a wild animal or someone else, something was to approach you in the cave. Yeah. Your gonna... eyes wouldn't be able to help you. The only sense that would hearing help is your hearing and and feeling. Touch. Yeah skin before you see something approach you you feel it oh i love how this is building it up he's building this up so good he's gonna jump scare us in three two one nope okay but honestly a great exercise to really help teach new cavers about bringing a second light source. Aha. Uh -huh. Because, uh, yeah, 
Never go into a cave with just one light source. And if you... That's not a good idea. Yeah, I'd say the recommended amount is at least two, and then probably a third. I also have glow sticks in my bag for emergencies. Glow sticks are a good uh, one. I'll never have to use them. All right. Or like some kind of lesson. system of lanterns. We can, go, we can continue. All right. But that would require a team of people. Get you off of this rock. Oh, almost slipped. Okay. You gotta think about B as well. He's literally all on his own. Oh, man. Just like caving through to like like drilling through to God knows what's on the other side there. Oh, and hearing that rumbling constantly must be really unnerving. It's a bit more tiring than I thought it would be. Oh well, after descending up, well ascending up, we descend again even deeper into the the abyss, the abyss of darkness. <laughs> Okay, so this whole video is basically about the route going towards um, the hole. I mean, even like, I, I don't know, this is super entertaining. I don't know if you guys feel the same, but I feel like this is super immersing and entertaining. I really enjoy this. Kind of. All you right. guys definitely need to go check out these videos for yourself. Uh, go support them, subscribe, like. I'm not sure if the series is done yet. It's a bit of a tight squeeze. But we shall see. We shall see. A bit of a tight squeeze. Okay. Oh, sorry. This is really hard to do. Crawling and holding the camera. But I thought that this would be a fun moment while I'm in one of the tighter crawl spaces to give you some info. Bro, about imagine like... Imagine doing this with someone else and you, you let rip. You let, you, you let your ass rip. That is chemical warfare. That is, that must go against the Geneva Convention. You're stuck in like a tight crawling space like this, like the human centipede, but not quite as intimate. And they let rip, they let ass rip. You've got nowhere to go except forward. You're breathing that, sh those shit particles in. I don't know why I'm thinking about this. Ted, uh, which is I. So essentially, I started caving about a year, a year and a half ago. Oh, damn, okay. Uh, maybe even two by this point. And when I started, I was uh, very, very frightened of being in these tight spaces. Um, and honestly, I'd panic a little. Uh, but then, as you know, you progress and time passes, mm -hmm. you get better at doing some things that you enjoy. And I enjoy doing this. Why, Ted? And, uh, I've managed. Is it just to, to get away much... from everything? You can go to nature parks and do that. Is it just the thrill of I don't know? More calm. In these this whole video is just like this guy trying to convince me. Obviously, it's not going to convince me. I don't know how this is going to end, but it's obviously not going to be good if it's based off of a creepy pasta. But um, it's it's just not going to convince me. Which for me is a massive milestone, and I'm very. Very proud of myself. Oh. Okay. I just wanted to give you that little bit of info. Maybe just be a bit proud of myself. So, thank you. And uh, I'm gonna switch the camera off because this is too hard to do while filming as well. Okay. Brilliant. Uh, uh, okay. I got out of that. Uh, Oh my god, yeah, man. My dragging is... your knees all through that. Like, it's like dragging, going through like broken glass. It's like crawl space. Ugh. Whew. You must have to wear okay. like, uh, like non tear, like cargoes or whatever. Because I can imagine getting nicked by like a sharp stone or something. Ugh. Uh, I think here's another important note is um, make sure that you wear clothes that you aren't scared to get too dirty. Very dirty, I should say. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then also just that one hook on much. I should actually be wearing jeans, but uh, sweatpants are a bit more comfortable in Sweat this type pants. of environment for me. And uh, yeah, very dirty. Maybe I should just dust myself off a bit. Jeez. Um, yeah, and just make sure you wear comfortable clothes. Mm -hmm. Don't go caving in a you know a suit or like a tux. Oh, that That's would be a bit silly. Idea. I mean, anyways, we're that that caving Let's in go. general is a bit silly. I don't know how well you can see this, but here is a really big pool of water uh, that forms from all the rain seeping through. Wow, okay. And um, yeah, I'm pretty sure I talked to one of the locals 
and he said his cousin like got some scuba diving gear and hopped in here and then just you know checked how far it went and I think it went on pretty far but that's a whole field that I am really unfamiliar with is cave scuba diving honestly kind of stupid if you think so like underwater in a cave that's next level yeah. crazy to yeah me. yeah anyways well, I don't know I why think that's a pretty cool little fact there are a few of these pools that sort of branch off tunnel wise and then they dip under so yeah oh, god that's pretty cool <laughs> Wasn't there like a cave in instant called the Moss Moss Cave incident or something? Where they literally drowned in a uh, cave. Oh god. Horrible. Oh what's that? Check it out. Here's a here's a bug, a cricket. In the lower section of the cave. Ooh. How the hell is that alive? Isn't that cool? They very slowly drip. Yeah. And then they form. I think it's like static mites and static tights. I'm not too sure. Uh, but I think that's pretty cool. Oh. Okay, we're almost there. We're almost. What was? What was that? What was that? The fact that he's saying what was that suggests that it definitely wasn't ordinary. That sounded like someone shuffling. What is that? I could have sworn I. Maybe it was just B in the drill. <sighs> yeah, I'm pretty sure that sound was just B in the drill. That sounded oh, like man, shuffling man. to me. Okay. Oh man, it's been a minute. Let me get back to B. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the the trip, uh, the, the, the route, and I hope you learned something. Right, okay. I'm so tired. Okay, let's get back to B. I'm getting a bit creeped out. And we're back. Okay. B is probably hey. knackered at this point. Hey, how you doing, man? Oh, good. Good. Oh. It's just oh, going I just slow. Hit my head again. Ow. You really need to bring that flipping helmet, man. Yeah, bring yeah, the helmet. You're wearing it. All right. Ow. That hurt. All right. How's the whole progress going? Slow. Very slow. Oh, all right. Okay. Man, I think that I must be a good workout, though. Shifts now. Um, yeah, that should be fine. <sighs> so it takes an hour to get out and an hour to come back. So what they do, they, they, they take it in turns to like, what, rest, eat? Why don't they bring the food with them and the drinks with them? And then at the very end of the day, both go out together. I don't know, but I don't know nothing about this. Gotta so. love caves. All right. Okay. Cool. Well, I'll take next shift and then I think we can probably head out after that. All right, cool. And they're gonna be out by midnight then. Interesting. So in this video, like, so for the videos leading up, we learn about the cave, about that there's a new cave. The second video was more like we're at, we as viewers are witnessing something's going on. You know, like we can hear the footsteps, we can hear the rumble. The third, Ted is kind of thinking like he hears stuff that wasn't there before. I think it's slowly building up to the point where they're gonna both start getting paranoid about something in this cave. It could even be like a Greylock situation where the workers that were mining through this cave or whatever just start turning paranoid and crazy. It could be similar to that maybe, I'm not sure. But I'm hooked, I'm intrigued. Obviously I'm cutting through this for you guys, but please go check out the original videos for yourself because uh, they're very, very interesting to watch. We're gonna move on to the next video now. Ten o two two thousand and one. Whip. Dot mp four. Radio. So looking at the thumbnail for this one, there seems to be a dog here. So whether or not they find the dog in this cave is a little bit odd because it they're like they're an hour deep into a cave. So what the hell is a dog doing there? But let's um let's just jump straight into this. Okay, and we're back. Hello. Uh, it's Ted again, and hey Ted, yeah. welcome back. Today we are well. We had a bit of a late start, uh, which honestly, people ask all the time why I and B go caving at night. Yeah, and huh? honestly, because you work, maybe. I mean, it kind of a no-brainer. It's always dark in a cave, so it doesn't really matter uh, whether you True. do it at night or during the day. But yeah, today I think we we did rush a bit to get here. 
I think me and B have become, I don't know, a bit obsessed with obsessed. You know, cracking Definitely into Floyd's tomb and getting into the passage. And, you know, it's not that we hope that there's some, like, big, great treasure behind the passage or anything. It's just... El Dorado. I think the reason why we're a bit obsessed is because there's just something... I don't know, really exciting about... I can, to be fair, I'm kind of understanding the excitement of, like, what could be behind there. It's like childhood wonder, imagination of, like... I remember when I was a kid, at the end of my garden, there was a bonfire pit where we used to, like, burn stuff. And for some reason in my head, I thought that if you dug down there, you'd have, you'd end up in a world called Zombieland. I don't know why I'd want to dig down to a world like that, but it's just that the imagination, you know, gets the passion going. I'd being the first humans to to step foot in some virgin part of the cave, you know, be yeah. the first people on the face of the planet to do that, and I think that's just a really exciting prospect. So I can imagine. Yeah, I can yeah. understand. Uh, yeah, I so wouldn't do it still. Start. We did rush out to get you, and um, we're outside Mystery Cave. Uh, something quite interesting uh, for today. I think you guys might like this. If I just you put my headlamp on. You guys are really, really going to like this, trust me. All right. Hey. Hello. Oh, hey. okay, little doggy. Look, look how fat wow. that thing is. Hey. Yeah, this is my. This dog. Oh, what? Her why? Whip. Isn't she just the cutest thing? Oh, hey. God. Ooh. The dog better not die. The dog isn't going to die, is it? So she's a caving dog, and she's going to be caving with us today. That doesn't oh. sound... That's hey. another mouth to feed. Oh. Yeah, look at the so, dog of mine. Yeah, don't worry. She's an avid caver. Probably be a bit more uh, experienced than me and B, if I could say so myself. And um, we brought her special harness for the abseil that down and everything. That is a fat dog. And yeah, super excited. We are going to see if we could maybe fit her into the into the hole uh, by Floyd's tomb. Uh, but we'll see what, what we get there. And that does B not sound like a good idea. Setting up the this guy is using the dog as bait. Oh for us to abseil down in and yeah uh, i guess we'll just see you guys in the cave let's go baby the dog We're... does not like this yeah the, the dog's already enjoying the water i wouldn't drink that water imagine hey, how stale that water where is Ooh, where are the frogs there are frogs Catch in frogs. there <laughs> that's so cute yeah oh. at least the rain's quieted down a Past few weeks. Cool. Okay, we're almost at the Yeah, don't go caving when it's freaking control. raining outside, guys. Um, like actually, torrential. Uh, Not ask, a good did idea. Did you manage to talk to any friends about the, the rumbling? Yeah, I talked to a couple of them. They said it's probably water from the rain we've been having. It, really? Some of them even said it might be an underground waterfall. Oh, interesting. Okay, yeah, but it's like. That would be a constant I mean, sound. Wouldn't, wouldn't that it? mean it's supposed to be like a, a consistent rumbling? Yeah, Why exactly. Does it come and go then. I don't know, man. <laughs> okay. It's like a dam, okay? You got to just I let water in, in, let water out. Crack open the tomb, I guess. I don't think right. that's how dams work, but you know, uh, screw it. To, yeah. Oh. All right. You good back there? Yeah. Yeah. I can't believe they brought the dog here. That's so reckless. Oh, okay. Uh, then again, go again, what do I know? I don't know anything about yeah. this. I wouldn't want to endanger my dog's oh. life. Hey. Whoop. Hey. Come on. She keeps wandering off, B. Come on. Oh, God. This is foreshadowing. The dog's going to go missing. All right. And we're at the hole. Um, I do think that... Hold on. What is she looking at? Okay, so there's that sound again, which means that there is something going on. I don't know. She doesn't behave like that normally, does she? She's looking at something. Really know. How did they get the dog to do this? That's crazy. That is kind of strange. What is she? This feels so real just because ah. of that. Like, it's hard to teach a dog to do that. Well, we're at the hole. Okay, let's just keep going. Yep. Ah, uh, yeah. So you good to take first shift, B? Yeah, completely chill. All right, cool. I'll sit with the... With whip on the rope bag. She seems a bit... I don't know. There's the sound again. Strange. Anyways, you good to start? Yeah. yeah. 
Just leave it. Leave it, man. There's something horrible in this cave. Okay, there's, there's some kind of background sound on the go, if you listen carefully. Yeah, there it is. And that suggests that something else is happening. Okay, I'm going to be cutting through most of this, guys. He's just, uh, I mean, like I said, watch for yourself. But they're just drilling, like uh, bees drilling a hole and hammering away here. Okay, this guy's been going at it for quite a while now. Okay, so it's, it's nearly midnight at this point. B hasn't came back? When did they start drilling? Oh, here he comes, I think. Did you good, B? Uh-oh. Hey, are you good? Uh-oh. What is it? What's wrong? I think I heard something. Heard Sound what? Sounded like rocks grinding against one another. You mean like the rumbling that we keep hearing? No. You sure it's not just the, the water from earlier? No. Okay, there's probably nothing, dude. There's too many red flags. God, we're ignoring too many red flags here right now. You good? Yeah. Okay. All right, B, I'll take uh, next shift. You just rest, dude. Mm. Okay. All right. My God, they're going. They're going uh, into the early hours. What about little Whip? Uh, this is an awkward position. Do they have what dog food and water for Whip? Yeah. I'm, I'm genuinely curious as to what's on the other side of this thing. It kind of looks like a nose, doesn't it? You need side beam. Yeah, no, can't even leap now. It's probably already like what three a.m. <laughs> no. Probably already like 3am. I don't think it's that. Actually, it might be. I'm not so sure. Well, you got a timer on the clock. Did I just say you've got a timer on the clock? Or did I say there's a timer on the camera? A time. I don't know. I'm going crazy. I feel like watching this video is sending me crazy, to be fair. Oh, that's exhausting. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm gonna take a break. You'll be she okay? Yeah, look at yeah, the dog of mine. Look how fat fine. she Just is, mine. I don't know, she oh, seems dear. a bit distracted. A little bit, yeah. Maybe. Hey. Always trusting the senses of a dog. Hmm. Shame. I think I'll take one more shift and then maybe we should head out. Yeah, probably for the best. So much for her going through the hole. <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't think happen. I don't think she'll fit okay. through that hole. Look at the size of her. Yeah. No, that's a yeah, chunky little dog. And then we can go. Okay. One more shift. What's that? Is it like two hours at a time? Ah, damn it! What? What oh. is it? I think the batteries died, B. Hmm. It's funny the light's still on though. No. Uh, it right. does that one slow. Wait a minute, do you hear that? No? No. Yeah. I think the breeze has stopped. Yeah. The breeze has stopped? What does that mean? Huh, weird. When did it stop? That's strange. Um. Oh, okay. Uh. I think. The doggy. I Go look at the dog. It. Yeah. Maybe we should just pack up. Whoop doesn't want to be here. Sorry. The batteries died. So yeah. Let's just get out of here. Yeah. Get out. Yeah, probably for the best. Probably yeah. for the best indeed. It's time to go. Right. So now that so the air stopped blowing through. There's no wind anymore coming through. Which means that, what, there's no cave now all of a sudden? Or someone's blocked 
someone's blocked something from the other side. They said that they heard like what sounded like rocks together. Maybe whatever it is on the other side is preventing them from coming in for good reason. This is getting very interesting, guys. Let's move on to the next video. Zero three, zero three, two thousand one. The scream. This video is so long, guys. I'm about to actually have a snack break in between. So the scream. This sounds super interesting. Here we go. P, P, are you okay? Are you okay? What happened? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm chill, man. I'm Shit. chill. Shit. It's okay. It's you okay. okay. Just that's not okay. No, no, no. no. It's fine. We've got bandages. We've got disinfectant and stuff. We we can clean it. We can sort this sort of stuff happens. We prepare for it. Are you yeah. sure you're fine? I'm, wow. Okay. I'm what sure. happened? He must have slipped, maybe? Yeah. Hey, hey, B. Yeah? The breeze and the rumbling are back. Oh, that's, okay. That's good. Yeah, I... Is it good? Yeah, well, I they're, don't think it's back. good. All right. Yeah, okay, looks like the camera's back. All right. Um, yeah, so I'll take first shift. Um, essentially, we didn't... I definitely didn't freaking skip over something here, did I? No, so that it started like that. Bring the dog this time, just because, well, it wasn't the biggest fan of the cave, as you may have seen, which was a pretty strange activity for her. I don't know why she acted like that. But, um, yeah, hopefully today goes a bit well. B did cut his arm, which wasn't ideal. No. How's your arm? Better now that it's wrapped up. Yeah, we, he cleaned it. He's tough. <laughs> um, but, uh, okay, yeah, so I'll take first shift. Got some battle scars, then, man. Yeah. Let's Something to tell his future kids about. How much progress we can get done today. Yeah. Okay, cool. Alright. I feel like I feel like they haven't moved at all since they first started drilling. They must be really making little to no progress at all. I mean they are making progress, but I guess they are like trying to bash through rock. Okay, this sounds back, which is the breeze. <clears throat> but it always indicates that something's getting louder. It's the fact that we can't see. Like, we, I think they saw that they showed us a little bit of the hole. But the fact that we can't see what they're doing makes the mystery, you know, even more greater. How's the shift going? Uh, uh, Want to take a break? Probably about time. Oh, man. I wasn't expecting this to be as tiring as it was. <laughs> or is, Yeah, they've, uh, they've been here for, what, three, four oh, days now? Progress, at least. Yeah, we're making... Decent progress. Wish you could move a bit faster. But we're almost inside. We're almost inside Floyd's tube. Almost a nail tube, most probably. Yeah, I'd give it a day. I think oh, we're really close. And also, think about how exciting getting in there would be. I mean, what if there's, and I know I told you this already, but imagine Spanish explorers, dude, and they, they sealed up the exit and that means that there, there might be an extra way for you to get in and then we can look at it together we can find you know spanish treasure that'd be so exciting spanish treasure this man really is like like a child basically just digging for treasure right now that would be the problem is uh, probably just more cave <laughs> well yeah of course it's gonna be more cave but spanish treasure <laughs> would be more this guy's exciting. nathan drake oh, it would. but yeah it's probably just more cave but yeah like, more cave if it was like, I don't know, a crystal cavern or something in there, that would be cool. Yeah, like, um, there's probably a few crystals in there. I mean, we've already seen a few on the way here, which mm. is nice. But I mean, like, a big, like, crystal chamber would be pretty sick, too. Mm. That would be sick. Yeah, that'd be really cool. Yeah. Only one way to find out, and that's cracking open. Are they not kind of thinking to themselves, like, as each said, like, they sealed it back up, right? They're not thinking, why did they seal it up in the first place? That'd be my first thought. And obviously in his head, it's, oh, to, to bury treasure. But why would they just leave the treasure there? You know what I mean? They're expecting to find remains of people in there. All right. I'm procrastinating. I don't want to get back to work. Okay. 
I'll take first shift again. First shift? Oh. I thought he was just working. Okay, that looks like he's, one, he's gone deeper in. Unless the camera just moved slightly. Oh, someone, move, who's moving the camera? Is that B? Oh, I bet you that's not B moving the camera right now. Oh, that's creepy. They're literally filming him. Is it B? Guaranteed, like, B, the camera's going to be left there, right? And then B's going to come back and be like, did you move the camera? Okay, well, that sounds like a horrible animal. I oh, know. Is it B that's filming? It's got to be B that's filming. Dead. <laughs> oh, he could have he could have banged his head really hard then. That sounded like a dying animal right there. The wind has stopped. Yeah. The wind stopped again. What does that mean? And the rumbling. And they still carry on. After hearing that, they're still going on. These guys truly have nothing to fear. I mean, no fear. They definitely have something to fear, but they're just not fearing it. What? Whip? What's wrong? What's wrong? Uh, Was that whip? Did they? They I did. Think, I, thought... I think we should finish up. Um. Yeah, I I think that's a good idea. Uh, we'll just leave the tools and um, and I think we'll just yeah. yeah. Let's just pack up and go. Right. Okay. Right, so they know that something's definitely wrong with this right now. They heard a scream. They carried on trying to cave into whatever was on the other side. But um, they they essentially got spooked towards the end there. But they're obviously going to carry on because it carries on from here. Zero four, zero three, two thousand one. Entering Floyd's tomb. Right, yeah, so they're actually entering the tomb in this video. This is gonna be interesting. Yeah, we've Here we done go. this a few times, so um, I think we forgot to film us in front of Mystery Cave. Um, yeah. Okay, so they're taking off the Yesterday harness, meaning that they're going, they, they've already abseiled. Something. Was. They came back though, that's crazy how they came back. I think those are a much needed rest by the motel last night. Okay, so how long okay. have they been staying at the motel for Jeez. now? And what have yeah. they been doing up until 8pm? That almost looked like a person sitting down at like the rock formation there. The eyes deceive. Damn, that rumbling's got very loud. Meaning they're probably very close. So that's the wind. You know what I'll do? I'll set up some kind of like trail cam 
on the cave and just put point it with night vision towards the hole just to see if anything's actually there, you know? They're doing this for free as well, guys, bear in mind. People who get... I don't know if there's people that get paid for doing stuff like this. Hey, I'm, I'm guessing that's called miners. Okay, B. Um, I think... Let me try and get in here. Okay. okay. Uh, this is an awkward angle. Oh, God, oh, it looks so sharp. Mate, I would put on a long sleeve oh. straight away. Yeah, I need a torch. And a long sleeve. Uh, can you give me a... Yep, give me a sec. Yeah, just a small torch, but thank you. Okay. All right. Damn it. Okay. I would not trust that. This is like nutty putty. Uh, there's a lot of rocks. I think it's from what we... We pushed in. Um, well, let's not think about that. Okay. Uh, all right. So, I'm gonna crawl in. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna see how far I can fit and get in. Game to pull you uh, out if to... needed. Yeah, that's a weird angle. Okay. So, when my feet are just peeking out, I just tie the rope around, and then just in case. But okay. I think so. So you can pull him out, fit, dude. Okay. Let's go. Oh God, it's the worst. Why would you do this? Oh my God, he's wearing a freaking vest. He's wearing a sleeveless top whilst climbing through sharp rocks. It looks a little bit bigger than we, we're, like it looks big from our perspective. I'm talking about the, the cave hole here, guys. Okay. Also, it's okay. So we can't see the actual hole. I just say with my feet. I want to move that rock there. Oh, that's not going to be comfortable on your knee. Oh, move that freaking rock. You tell the rock. One foot, one foot or both foot? Uh, one foot, just one foot. That's just going to pull his shoe off. That's going to slide right off. Uh, 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 oh my god, whatever's on the other side is welcome. Easily grab this guy. This is not fun. Why would you do this? We're making it, dude. Uh, 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 okay. Uh, 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 uh. It opening up. We're again. making it, as he's um, the only I'm one going in. About halfway. Uh, halfway. I might be through yet. Uh, Got a bit more to go. Okay. Oh my god, this is just awful. Why would you do this? He's having to probably shuffle his body like this. Let me take a breather. Now throw in a fat bomb down there. God, pull me up! I can't fit too much in the middle here. The rocks are protruding, I think. Uh, I can almost make it, but... I think we need to break these off in the middle of the tunnel. Oh my god, uh, really? Uh, That's gonna be a little difficult. Yeah, I think... I think we need to come back. Yeah. But Jeez. I can almost make it. So you're gonna uh, squeeze through there whilst trying to hammer through some rocks at the same time. Bro, that sounds like a recipe for disaster. Okay. Almost there. <laughs> Dude, next trip and we're in. Next trip and we made it past Lloyd's tomb. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go, baby. <laughs> We're doing it, dude. Is he going to be able to pull him out? Uh, imagine the rope. Okay. Like, I just, uh, with with this whole situation here, I just imagine the rope being pulled and it's sliding straight off of his foot. I'm going to try and make it out again. Cool. Uh, See if I can help. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, uh, this is going to be a bit different, more difficult. Uh, 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 yeah. Because he's going in at a slant as well, like like this, I think. So coming back out would be really hard. He's doing it, though, to be fair to him. 
That must be so exhausting, though. Get that rock out the way, man. Th that rock is so annoying me. Why are we not getting rid of that rock? Almost there. It's just this big rock. We yeah, what well, your ah. buddy could have got rid of that Try at the very start. With the drill. Uh, oh, break off with the drill. What? So it's not loose. Come back. <laughs> Cause it's moving. Uh, almost there. Ah, oh, my stomach. Uh, need a pull? No, I'm good. No, don't uh, pull, you gonna... tape next time and tape my shirt. Make a note of that. Ah, holy. Uh. Or just wear overalls. Basically there. Just wear overalls, man. Nice and comfy. One fit. Jumpsuit. We did it! Right, yeah. Dude, we did flights too! Let's go! Yeah! Yeah! Uh, uh, let's go! Right, what have you just opened up? Uh, that's huge. There, man. What's on the that's other huge. side? Oh, that's a tight squeeze. Alright. Okay. Let's call it a day. Oh, man. Call uh, it a day? Tools. Okay. Yeah. Alright. Okay. Uh, we just got out of. Mystery cave, uh, it's behind me. Uh, it is very dark right now. Mm -hmm. And um, today's <laughs> it's a good day. Uh, we, we managed to get into Floyd's tomb. That is huge. It is amazing. Like that is, that is fantastic. That's a huge milestone. And I know B, B won't admit this, but um, he managed to climb out of the cave by himself uh, pretty quickly too which is a massive milestone for him as well. And if you know B, you know why that is, which is just, why? Why honestly, is that? that's huge. And um, yeah, ah, that's fantastic. All right, this, and the camera's about to die. Righty, oh, okay, so they made their way in. Um, they just need to get rid of a few other protruding rocks in there to actually fit through properly, but then they're properly in. But now they're actually making a bit of leeway and getting through to the other side of whatever's in, or on the other side of Floyd's tomb. Um, it can't be good, whatever it is, with all the rumbling and the footsteps and the screaming that we've been hearing. It's probably not a good idea that they go in there, but for some reason, they just carry on. Let's move on to the next video. Zero seven zero four two thousand one. Exploring beyond Floyd's tomb. Here we go. So they're going beyond right. Floyd's tomb, uh, which means the they get through to the other side. Start to today's cave. Late um, start. This is we pretty early for you guys, is it not? You get to get back out here, and uh, we're already inside. We abseiled down, took the gear off, and um, I think today be. Uh, so we need to get rid of the rocks that are sort of in the Floyd's tomb. Yeah. Um, I think I'll take the hammer and chisel that are there already. And then, oh, and then basically what I'll do is uh, I'll hit away at the rocks. Yeah. And then uh, we'll clear that out. Mm. And then we'll see if I can fit through completely. I think it should be fine. Um, yeah. All right. So that, yeah, that'll be the plan for today. So, I didn't realize that um, we probably, if only we had more time, we could have made our own tools. But I don't really have made the resources your own tools. at the moment. Be, yeah, uh, I don't know. We don't really have the time or like right now. Yeah. We, I, I really want to get this done, man. True. I did. I did think of something cool. It's sort of like an extended sledgehammer that uh, we could use to extended hit the rock away in the tunnel. I think that would have been really cool. I was in like, you uh, hold it and push it in like that. Yeah, like I said, didn't have the time to do that. Oh, uh, I could have probably, I've got a couple of things back home that I could rig up and probably get something for us to measure the width of the cave to figure out where we actually need to get the material. That without would, you having to climb all the way in there. That would have mm -hmm. actually been really helpful. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but I think, I think I'll be able to fit with a small hammer and then just extend my arms forward and then be able to chip away at the rock like that. We'll see. We'll see today. We'll see today. Right. Okay. Now we're at the hole. 
All right. Uh, all right, so uh, we can just set up. I'll grab some of the tools and then, um, yeah, I'll climb in. Okay, they're and in. And then I'll start working at the hole. I hope it'll be about, hopefully an hour, maybe even two. Yeah. We'll see how long it takes to chip the wire rock away. But yeah, all right, uh, let's set up here. So I'm guessing him talking about those protruding rocks in a previous episode is the, uh, him saying like, that's what they're dealing with here potentially. And I need to get rid of those. Okay, all right. Uh, okay, here are the tools. Um, so B, I think I'll clear some of these rocks that we broke off in the front here. And then I'll try and hammer away the narrow part yeah. in the center there. That's a bit further on. Um, yeah, I don't know how long it'll take. I'll try to be as quick as possible. But yeah, okay, let's let's begin then, I guess. You have to turn your head at a weird angle. Bro, that rock uh, is still there. Get a bit more in. Uh, uh, uh. The rumbling just stopped, the wind. See, the, the eeriness of like just the hammering away, like you, you, it's almost like you're expecting something to happen. It's like this build up inside. Okay, uh, I think. I should, that should be it. That should be good. Think it's big enough? I think I can fit. Big enough to get through the other side? I just squeeze. Uh, I'll, I'll put my, I'm gonna try, hold on. Let me take the hammer out for now. And then I'll try and uh, rotate my head. Oh, and God. then one arm forward, one arm behind. That does not sound big enough. And, and then try inch forward with my feet. Yeah. I should be able to make it through. And then on my way out, I mean, well, on my way through, I'll try and push the rocks forward so that they can get out mm -hmm. ahead of me. That should work. Is I there like, like an what? entrance point yeah. though? I just need to reverse. I'll just like, I don't know. I wouldn't trust it at all. Like not knowing what's on the other end. I don't know. Sending like one of those freaking, I don't know, like a drone or something that lasers around the environment and is like, and it's like, okay, there's something at the end of this. Can you just come and take the hammer and chisel? Just making this process. A little bit more difficult. I wonder if you can reach. Can't really see much here, guys. Uh, uh, it's easier. Ah, uh, hitting my back. Ah. Uh. Okay, uh, let's take a breather. So now he's going back <sighs> in to see if he can actually squeeze through without the hammer. Okay. Just insane to, to me. I don't understand the logic uh, behind let's it. Let's do this, man. All right. Okay. I think uh, we grab some more gear. Is there a horror then, film out there about caving? I'll see if I can, let me see if I can fit the I mean, camera that, This is it the closest. Fit. Yeah. So let me see if that'll work. Oh man, the roof is right there. Oh, he's taking the camera with him. <laughs> Can't see anything. <laughs> you can hear the Being reverberation. A lot of points too. Uh, That's a big reverberation. Okay. Another hole. Why it goes deeper? Um. Uh. How's the flight working? Oh dear. There you go. Uh, okay. Uh, I think there is a passage here and it goes on a bit. I think I'm gonna, I'll be about 30 minutes and then I'll come back. I'm gonna go explore a bit. All right, he's waiting for that. Okay. Okay. So he's through the other side now. And it sounds like it's pretty deep because of the reverberation. So whatever was screaming in that previous episode, like a couple of episodes ago, is 
in where he is now, basically, or near to where he is now. Okay, I can kind of crouch, stand, crouch, stand. Okay, so it's it's opened up a lot more right now. Oh. Look at that. Kind of like. What does it look like? pieces of cheese <laughs> this is crazy that kind of looks like a drumstick actually so what is in here oh jeez there's moss growing that's a good sign of like what's, what's that a sign of moisture or life Where's B? Is he just back waiting at the hole? What is this? What is that? It looks like a... Like, like a almost like a statue. What? Oh my god, that looks- that doesn't look naturally forming. Kind of looks like candle wax. Hmm. Resin, maybe. There is something dodgy in this cave. Wait. What? What is it looks like. Yeah, what is that? It's an oddly placed rock. Yeah, what? Is there something inside the rock? It kind of looks like it's leaning against the wall. Mm hmm Okay, it's opening back up, he said. Oh dear. Oh, the, the wind just stopped. What if, they, what if they buried something in there, like a monster or something, and it was. That is resin. It was encased. It was encased in a rock, maybe. And what they've done is they've just woken up this beast. Oh, good lord. Oh, no. No, get out of there. Get out of there immediately. Curiosity kills the cat, guys. B, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, uh, I think I'm done. Dude, there's some, there's some really cool stuff in here. Uh, yeah, really so, so cool like stuff. And, uh, okay, let me just, I'm gonna come through the passage. Uh, yeah, okay, just just give me a moment. So he's still like, what, is he not questioning what that sound was or what that hieroglyphics meant or that stone? 
because the way I interpreted that was that something was lowered into that cave and then sealed it up. Oh, the rumbling's back. What was it? Oh, God. Mate, keep going. That's it, keep on going. My god, I would I wouldn't stop, I'll tell you now. Welcome back to the land of the living. Land of the living. You need anything else? Oh yeah, I might need you to take the camera camera. Okay. Uh, just be careful not to get the rope in. Okay. Come on. Oh, that's a fun shot. So you're giving you're getting birth, like giving birth? Being given birth to what I saw. <laughs> That's some cool stuff. <sighs> Hopefully not just more cave. Uh, no, there's so much more than that. Seriously, dude. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay. So they found a pharaoh's tomb. They, oh, I think kidding. they literally found be, some, was, a tomb. Oh my goodness, be, there was so much. There was so much in the cave. All right, so there was, uh, I think the, the, mo the coolest thing was, I think I saw some sort of like hieroglyphs, like, like, uh, uh, like, I want to say like crude drawings on the wall, but that means there might be an entrance, another entrance to the cave, because there's no way someone got through that hole that we just spent no. so much time opening. So if there's another way in, I you might help. be able to see. Oh, that. Oh, hear so me out. They closed that thing in there, and you just opened it back up. Exciting. Oh, um, sweet. Okay, yeah, and and it wasn't just hieroglyphs. Uh, there was also like uh, there was really cool crystals at the end there, which was nice. Um, like formations forming and uh, it was just past this like round rock and then there was a bigger cavern that opened up I didn't get to explore everything I uh, yeah I just I turned back after the 30 minute mark and um, yeah because uh, yeah just came back yeah. and um, I think that'll be Don't for risk today it. and what we'll do is what about uh, B does B not want to go explore uh, when we come back uh, what do you think about bringing someone with next time probably bringing a better someone. idea Don't want yeah to. You going in alone might not be for the best. Yeah. Especially just, if you have... Oh, I'm guessing B can't go through there because it's had to explain that something's wrong with B that prevents him from climbing stuff on his own, but that one time he managed to actually climb out, so... You don't know anything more about it. Yeah, just, just it'll make me feel more comfortable if someone's with it. So, yeah, maybe I'll, chat to some friends. I'll go talk to some of the people I know, see if any of them are willing and available. Okay, yeah. All right, all right, dude. All right. <laughs> we're getting, we're doing it. We, dude, They're doing it, man. They're closer to their deaths, oh, apparently. So good. It feels so, so good. But yeah, okay, you go on ahead. I'll just grab some of the gear. Okay. Quickly, okay. <sighs> we're doing it, dude. Okay, interesting. For this one, we learned that there definitely was something encased in there and i think it is a tomb for sure i think that maybe that wasn't the entrance point to it maybe it was i don't know like maybe there was a different entrance point and it's been blocked off or maybe uh, i don't know but i feel like there was something in there and they decided they needed to close it off for the greater good that's my theory anyway and the hieroglyphs kind of showed the process of lowering this thing or whatever into this tomb and i feel like the, th the stuff around it they said it was like wax could be like resin to preserve whatever's inside maybe but yeah this is getting interesting we got three more videos to go guys let's move on to the next one Fourteen oh four, two thousand one. joe mp4 Okie dokie. So the thumbnail for this one looked very interesting. It was bleeding okay, from his head. Uh, oh, they've came in a lot earlier today. 515, uh, not you bad. Can, you can just drop the rope there by the tree. Oh, okay. We'll get it now. Yeah, okay, cool. Uh, yeah, and then this is it. We're outside Mystery Cave. Which is over here. Oh, right. What the hell was that? I've been here before. Yeah. So uh, this, is... this is where it is. Sorry we didn't want to tell you. Uh, 
for for those of you watching we brought a friend with us today i'm also in shot oh. yeah hi this is, this so is joe he we doesn't mind being drive here oh okay okay got you got you so he doesn't mind his face being shown but he doesn't like his name being out there anyone with well i guess back in these days you it's harder to do research because internet wasn't like a huge thing like it is now but. inside joke but yeah if you come in we'll show you where we're going to be climbing down oh. okay okay so this is so introducing yeah, this joe is, this to is the, the first drop for the abseil point okay yeah yeah i know this part yeah we're um, going all the way down right yeah so we'll we'll go down and then it dips to the left a bit yeah. and then we'll uh go down a bit more and then there's two or three more stop points where we'll do some uh hook points and yeah and then we're in the cave so we'll okay. take the girl there i'll see you when i get there yeah i don't yeah as we told you we're, we're exploring a, a virgin passage and that's really exciting oh yeah that's that's great i'm super right. excited so yeah we'll, we'll get in there now okay yeah okay. And it's a bit of an early start today just because we really want to explore the the tomb and have enough time to do so it literally is a tomb they called it a tomb without realizing that it actually probably is a tomb so, i think let's set up let's get the gear on and then we can head in uh, okay they're at yeah, the hole now guys but anyways uh yeah so you can just check there what? essentially that's where uh we did all the mining and drilling to yeah, get you the... guys did a lot of work in here hey yeah we needed to expand the hole quite a bit um yeah so let me just set up the camera this side okay uh where did i put the hey uh, ted yeah just a quick question shouldn't we tell them what tell them what B I, I don't think listen tell them the wind stopped that we heard something listen i don't i don't feel like we're putting him in any sort of danger ourselves Right, and we don't feel like we're in, in any sort of danger. Wait, what? What are they saying right here? I think that's fine. So, I think I'm going in there with him. All right, that's why we wanted another person. That's okay. All right, I think it'll be fine. Okay. Okay. Hey, Joe. Ah. Uh oh, okay. So he was talking with B about Joe, and they haven't told him about like the sounds they've heard or like the rumbling and stuff. Oh uh, yeah. So, are you okay. ready to get in there? Yeah, it's a tight fit, but we'll make it. It's fine. Yeah, cool. Yeah. yeah. You excited? Yes, very. <laughs> You're saying okay. you have, you, uh, you've been in there once? Yes, I've already explored a bit. Uh, and some cool stuff like hieroglyphs oh, and crystals. Yeah, I'm so excited. Joe, you go in first, and okay. then I'll come in after you. Alright, sounds okay. good. Yes. If I was Joe, I'd be like, no, can you go in first? Because you've already been in. I feel like a guinea pig right now, and you're just testing if it goes. That's what I would personally feel like. But uh, honestly, I think you're going to be fine. <laughs> yes. No kidding. It was a bit tight. <laughs> Looks good though. Yeah, cargo pants, army boy. In, I still don't understand why you cave in tennis shoes, dude. <laughs> yeah, what the hell is he doing? Uh, it creates a bit of an extra challenge, my man. <laughs> okay, and that's it. Yeah, so there it goes. Sort of what it looks like from behind. Mm hmm. The crawl. I can take my head off. I sure. think Joe's gonna die, man. Joe's gonna die. <laughs> Almost there. Keep going. Okay, cool. All right, oh, I'm gonna something's stop coming gonna in happen. behind you. All right, chop. Okay. That's good. Give me a little push, eh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> These guys are yeah, definitely South trying. African, right? I feel like I feel mm. like they are. All right. <laughs> okay, yeah. Can you can just take the camera, Joe. Yeah, yeah, gotcha, bro. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> That must be a fun shot. Yeah, oh, well, that is great. <laughs> oh, and that's it. All right. Hey, B, can you just pass the, the gear? Yeah, send by the rope. Okay. There we are. It's coming. Ah, cool. So let me just grab my helmet. Ah. Oh man, head. there you go. Ah, uh, now I hit my head. Oh, you hit his head? Oh, Joe, you s banner. Head. there you go. Uh, just grab helmet. Ah. Did you just say I need to grab a helmet and then bangs their head? Hang on. Ah, cool. So let me just grab a helmet. Let me just grab a helmet. Ah. And then he bangs their head immediately afterwards. The timing could not have been better. Oh man, head. there you go. Ah, uh, now I hit my head. Oh, oh, man. Oh. 
Oh, yeah, wait, wait. No, 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 no. It's... Oh, no, 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 no. Take it, 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 take it. Oh, ah, am I bleeding? Am I bleeding? Yes, that you are Oh, oh Joe. Oh, a little lightheaded. Okay, just take it calm, take it slow, take it slow. Give him some water. No, okay. I don't. No. I'm sorry, Joe. I don't think. I don't think I can keep going like this. It's, it's okay. It's okay. Wait, wait, wait. Who hit their head, Ted or Joe? Uh, okay, let, let us have that. Um, I think. Um, okay, Ted hit his head. We're gonna, I think we need, I'm gonna head back through. Yeah. Head back yeah, through. We, yeah. Why are you not wearing your helmet, Ted? Yeah. Where's the, do you have the camera? Where's yeah, here's the camera. Uh, no, yeah, I think, yeah, we head back through and, um, ah, uh, uh, my head, ow, ow. Okay, you want me, you want me to go in first again? Uh, then I can help you. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, let me think. Uh, Oh man. It's not looking good. That's what I'm going to say. They had to squeeze through a small gap to get to this part. And now he's banged his head. He's going to have to go back through all this dirt and crap. Um, no, no. Look, I tell you what. You can go in me. I mean, Jar, Jar, you can go in. And, uh, 20 minutes. You sure, man? All right. 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Go. You sure, you sure about this? Yeah, no, it's it's fine. I'm, I'm I wouldn't go. really want to leave my friend who's bleeding from the head on their own just to go explore a cave. Clean this up. 20 minutes and you come back, straight back, all right? All right, clack it, clack it, okay. 20 minutes, I got my watch. Yeah, once you get to the crystals, turn around and you come back, all right? Try to keep your eye up for the, the higher the hieroglyph. Uh, yeah. the crystals. Right, Sean. Lacquer. Okay. All right. Twenty minutes. Twenty minutes. Oh man, this is so cool. <laughs> this is so cool. Get his friend oh. casually bleeding to death oh. from his head. Oh, my head. Oh. But now here's the thing: is that blood now going to attract something? Ah, oh, I don't think I was going to bleed this much. Ow. Oh. Uh, head wounds. Time to do that. <laughs> yeah. No oh, shit. Wait, is that B with him? Oh. Damn it. And I was grabbing the helmet too. That's what annoys me. Uh. <laughs> uh. I've had my head cut open before. I remember I was ran into the corner of like a brick wall when I was younger and it literally gashed my head open. It's not a nice feeling. I think I was never the same since. I think uh, if you're fine with it, and uh, we'll ask her when he gets back, but if you're cool with it, I'll, I'll gladly pay. Uh, maybe we can get a, mo like a motel for tonight and then um, and then come back tomorrow or, or uh, the day after. Just to, yeah, we'll first see how this head injury looks though. Yeah. I need to clean that out a bit. Yeah, yeah. I don't think Joe's coming back, guys. Huh, man. Well, if you heard like a distant scream now, yeah. like Joe just screaming. B? Is it just me? I don't really. I don't really hear the wind anymore. Yeah. What is the significance of the wind? Mm. Uh, oh man, um, listen, I I need to tell you, um, the last trip out here when I was making it through. Floyd's tomb. I I could have sworn I heard like rock grinding against rock. So, That's what B heard, right? I can't explain it, B. Mate, Floyd. Oh, sorry, Floyd. Ted is not sounding good right now. It sounds like he's dozing off. He needs that wound attending to. 
but there was noise and now it's quiet. How much time has passed? Probably, probably 30 minutes. So, oh, so Joe's not coming back. Oh, Joe. Joe! 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 Dude, I don't hear anything. Joe! He's coming back by now. Joe! 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 Calm down, guys. It's you could have just got a little Wait. bit lost. It's like, Joe! 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 Can you hear me? Joe! Wait. What, what took you so long? Joe! Is that Joe? Come on. Come on. Why is he not replying? Joe. Oh, good lord. Joe. What happened to give this man? Hand. Joe. Oh, give me your hand. He's not Joe. looking too good, man. Come on. What if it's like an infection, like a virus inside that rock? Come on. Be help him up. Help him up. Be. Come on. Joe. You okay? Oh, God. What happened to you? No. Joe? Joe, are you okay? No. What do you mean? Wait, what? No, what do you mean? No. Did, <laughs> did you see the hieroglyphs? It doesn't, the, the, doesn't the, look the rock, good. The, the cave? Did you get in? No. What? No. So where I, the hell did you go? Why, why are you bleeding? What happened? Why if the wind and the rumbling we're hearing is like opening and closing of like a portal? Not a portal, but maybe like a kind of portal to a different location. And Joe just ended up somewhere completely different. <sighs> Joe, are you okay? What happened to you? It doesn't look good, bro. Uh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Uh, B, B, what do we? B, Joe, I'm so sorry. I'm gonna go. What do you mean you're gonna go? You're gonna, gonna go? go. Oh, where are you going? B, uh, Joe, Joe, oh, grab the tools, grab the tools. Joe, come back. Joe, Joe. Oh dear Lord, Joe, where are you going? Where are you going, Joe? Okay, so, summarizing that episode. So they went to, they went through the tomb again. Um, he couldn't go all the way through because he was grabbing his helmet and then he smashed his head, ironically. So he said to Joe, take 20 minutes to go explore, then come back. Joe came back and he doesn't look good. And he, I don't think he went to the same place that Ted went to. And my theory there is maybe like the wind opening and closing is some kind of portal to a different place or maybe he just found it got turned around or I'm not sure. But this is really, really interesting. We got two more videos got left, guys. I believe this one here is the longest video of the series. It's 24 minutes. Uh, and then we got one more after that. So it's going to be interesting. What happens next? Twenty-eight zero four two thousand one. 2001 We should never have opened the cave to MP4. All right, Gio, this is going to be exciting. My camera's probably going to cut off at some point here. Let's jump straight into this. Here we go. So this is probably, is it the next day or is it, this is the same day? Hi. Hi. It's Ted. I, um, I, I don't really know how to start this video. B and I, we, um... What about Joe? We... You're probably thinking that we're rather irrational. What do you mean? Or naive, or... Yeah, a little bit. Or ignorant. I mean, just doing caving alone labels you as that. I'm sorry if you're a caver, guys, or if you're a spelunker. Listen, you've got bigger balls than I ever will have. I just don't understand the appeal. I still don't. That's fair. Maybe bits and bobs, but not... I, I don't know if I can successfully convey to you how we feel. Okay. Where's Joe? But you see this, this cave. It represents months of hard work. Hang on, let me go back. Let me go to the, the... Okay, so this is zero 04. I just realized, hang on a sec. They took, like, a month break between the whip episode and the scream episode. And then they've been going, like, every other day, basically. And now this is, like, two weeks after the Joe incident. Okay, here we go. Emotions 
going from from fear to pain and, and from frustration to glory is see B and I we are we had to come back why what about Joe we see it as as an unspoken commitment oh that we camera stopped because you can't just abandon a commitment because of the fear of the unknown. This cave is a part of us. My God. And we okay. have to see it through. I don't think you do, Ted. And, and there's just so many questions that we don't have answers to. I mean, such as the, the wind rumbling scream. Yeah. And Joe. What happened to Joe? Joe I, what happened to him? We did try and talk to him. Don't get me wrong. We did try, but it's like he wasn't even there. He was taken over. Maybe yeah, it was I like he was so struck by maybe what he saw or witnessed that he just couldn't bring himself to say anything. Long discussion on what our next move is. And, and the only conclusion that we could draw was that we had to come back. Yeah. We had to conquer this cave in order to get answers. And that's why we're here. Good Lord, where's B now? So I hope that helps. Where's B? I think, uh, I think B's almost done setting up the equipment. And what, um, what downstairs? Or down uh, cave? Yeah. What, what, what used to be excitement for wanting to enter this cave and get to work and go on to the other side has now turned into just absolute fear and, you know, unwanting. While we wait for B, I just wanted to just say that we, we did try to talk to Joe. We Where is he multiple now? Multiple times, uh, B called into his work, and apparently he called in sick about two weeks ago, which is just after the caving incident. And um, we also stopped by his house. The lights were on, but he wasn't there. Oh. He wasn't there either. Okay. I just. That's almost like a metaphor for the lights are on, but no one's home. Right, same really as same as what Joe's obviously experiencing. Nice to talk to him before we came back. That's all. Okay. I'll wait for B to get down. Man, knowing that it takes an hour to get to the hole each time, you gotta be so dedicated to this. And the fact that they don't want to go through, but they they feel like they have to finish this. Here they are. They're back at the hole, guys. And you can hear that, what almost sounds like rain and the okay. wind there. Okay, so he's climbing his way back through Floyd's tomb right now. We only got really like a slight look inside what was actually there, but it wasn't looking good. Where's B? Is B gonna be like doing this as well? Okay, he's on the other side. That should be the last of the stuff. Mate, you should have put that helmet on first. And then and then now I okay. Everything else is in the bag. As well as the extra telephone. Okay. Alright, B. I'm heading in. I don't see the point in B coming back other than to be like, um, just in case he doesn't make it back out. Yeah, what am I saying? It's probably a safety thing. Oh God, it looks so jagged and like sharp. I probably want to make sure I get this so that B can see it. What is okay. it? Right, so it's just showing some rock formations. 
moss on the side. And then there's these things on the ground. Right. He's going to show the hieroglyphs again. He's not been on the radio yet or the phone with B yet. What did Joe see? That's what I want to know. What happened to Joe? Wait. That's the resin thing. I would be terrified right now, knowing what happened to my friend and then going back into the same spot. That. What does it show? It looks like something being lowered. It looks like maybe people were trapped. Maybe they were trying to get something. Hmm. Alright. Cave continues. Let's go have a look. Maybe I should give B a call quickly and check in. Alright. Yeah, that's probably a good idea to be okay. fair. Let me get the phone. Oh, get the phone. Surprised you haven't done it sooner. Hello? B? Can you hear me? How's how's everything looking on your side? I'm trying to hurry up here. So, uh, yeah, how's it going? Yeah, you're coming through loud and clear. Okay. Good to hear from you. But yeah, everything's good this side. Just took a bit of a nap. A nap? Uh, but don't worry, take your time. Here if you need me. Okay, okay cool, that's awesome, dude. Oh, uh, thanks. All right. Uh, thank you. Thank you for being here. All right. Um, yeah. All right. I'm going to go explore a new portion of the cave. Here we go, baby. Uh, wish me luck. All right. Oi, what's that? What just happened? That was like a cave door opening, a rock door opening. What happened, man? Is he closed in? Yeah, turn that light on, dude. Why is it not working? Why is it not working? Oh my god, of course. Why wouldn't. Why? Where's the light? Where's the light? Where's the light? Where's the happening right on. now come on come on come on it's not like it's like a come rock on. door closing but it must have closed on him or something i don't know what what happened oh he's got the glow sticks in case of emergency what happened Has he lost the phone? Is he caved in? What's happened? Oh, God. 
It's in pure darkness. It's relying solely on sound, this is, right now. And you... Light. Light. I need light. Yeah, where's your light, man? Oh god, this makes you feel so claustrophobic. This would be so, so bad. Not knowing where you are, no light, no communication with anyone else. You're just stuck. Oh God, it makes you feel horrible. something there he's running in the dark right now in a cave oh was that something there then or was that just a rock God, this fast breathing is making me freaking breathe quicker. on the phone now it's a very Blair Witch project oh good lord no oh you can't see what it is either that's the worst part oh thank god but hearing your friend's voice after going through that must have been like, uh, really nice. Oh, all right, stop, stop forcing it, dude. What's it smell? You say, what's that smell? No, no. No, no, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Oh, the, that is... Come on. No. Stop panicking, man. I know it's hard not to, but... You gotta just move forward. Take it easy. Be calm. Run! Run, B! Run! Oh, so he can't- he couldn't get back through? Well, this dude is literally running in the dark right now. Okay. So is he at the little, the little 
Where is he right now? I love how they pick up the camera still. Okay, so... Wait, the rope's moving. Who's moving the rope? Wait, was he just climbing up there? B, 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 climb! Climb, B! But B can't climb that well. What the hell is that sound? Climb, B, Rose, out! Climb! Climb! Is that even B at this point? Oh my god, what a horrific place to end it. Well, I mean, it's not the end. Yeah, it's... There's one more video to go. That was crazy. That was really good. So he went in to explore, even though he didn't want to. They felt like they needed to, to, to finalize whatever this project was that they was working on. And this is when something actually manifested in the cave and is now actively chasing after Ted. Something happened where, like, the it sounded like the rocks were rubbing against each other or whatever or is it but to me it sounded like a like a rock door closing almost like it cut off something to them i have no idea what it is we still don't know what it looks like all we're going off is it's sound and like little cues that something's following them uh, like the footsteps and like the rope moving on its own meaning something's chasing them but this is where it comes to an end guys the net the next video is the last video i think Nineteen zero five two thousand one going back dot mp4. So this is a month after, basically a month after, or like you know, half a month after the what we just witnessed, and they decide to go back. Okay, well, here we go. Like, what is wrong with them? Like, So this is 6 p.m. Is he on his own? Is there something like drawing him to this cave? Like luring him in there? Okay, where is he now? Um, hi. It's, it's been a minute. Uh, I haven't been doing well. Um, yeah, we can tell. Jeez. I, uh, I've been seeing things. Oh dear, okay. In the corner of my eye. It's sending him insane. Hearing things. I, uh. Oh, when, when B and I got back after what happened, uh, well, we haven't really spoken since. And Wow, okay. I, I, I just wanted. I haven't been able to sleep. Um, and, 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 and when I do, out of exhaustion, I, I have nightmares. Oh god, this sounds horrible. And, you know, it's funny, I, I used to pride myself about being able to go into caves, and, and now I can't even go outside. I... Jeez. There's something there, something outside, and it's watching me. What, well, outside? It's making him paranoid. Hear it. And and I, I, did, I did try to do some research. I tried to, to, to see on the internet if I could find something about, about what's myths, cave myths, or, or something about the local area. And, and, and the only thing I could find was something about a hot egg. I don't know what that is. A, a what? The local, the local said something about, about a Wendigo. Wendigo? Yeah. Done. As if that helped. Um, just, I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm gonna go try and buy a gun. Oh my god! Why? And, um, go back to the cave. I saw an ad in the paper, and and I'm gonna go see if there's something there. So, yeah. Cause 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 I'm I'm, I'm scared. I, I don't know what to do. I, I'm frightened. I I can't go outside. I don't know. What was it? 
Oh, the rumbling's back, man. So it is, it's attached itself to Ted. Whatever this thing is. Oh god, that'll be horrible. It's like Slenderman, basically. Like, once you see him, you start getting paranoid and stuff. There's something on the other side of the door. Oh, good lord. At this point, just open the door, man. And, like, if it's sending you insane, how worse can your life get if it just, like, kills you, right? One, you'd put it out of its misery and you'd feel better. Or two, you, it'll put you out of your misery. But then again, I guess it's one of those things where you'll open the door and there'll be nothing there. But it's always going to feel like something's there, right? God, is that as a lamb? It is now 10 a.m. on Sunday the 19th. And, uh, I'm doing better. I talked to, to Joe last night and B, and we decided we're going back. Uh, yeah, we're, we're leaving for the cave in about two hours. And packing for this has been interesting. I, I, for the first time in my life, I am bringing a gun into a cave crazy he's gonna end up shooting knife. himself and a medical aid kit uh lots of food and water um paper Jeez. pencil uh all of my climbing rope uh as well as about several light sources wow this guy is and prepared he's gonna john wick this cave and i don't know if i can pinpoint my motivation but i think closure closure nice fit to it because I need to know what's at the end of that cave. Nothing I know good, it I'm telling you. Stupid, it does. But crawling through tight spaces in the dark, or, or, or scaling the side of a cliff, or jumping out of a perfectly good airplane, people have a thirst for adventure. Uh huh. It sounds cheesy, but it's true. The cave it has a calling. A calling. You know, like B always likes to say, uh, caving is the last opportunity for exploration for people with modest means. Damn, it's beautiful. Uh, I know a lot of you have disagreed with my pursuit of the cave. I've received a lot of messages, but I'm afraid I don't have a choice anymore. If I'm ever to experience restful sleep in my house again, I, I, I have to go back. If I ever want to walk in my home peacefully, I must return. Oh, good Lord. If I'm ever to leave the world... And you could have gone in the dead while well, no, it doesn't make I a must difference. Now return. It's right. not a choice anymore. Freeze frame. That GeoGuessr dude, where is he right now? Um... To, to all my friends and family that have been watching these videos, I, I just wanted to say, don't worry, I'll be okay. Uh, oh God. I expect to arrive either later tonight or, or uh, tomorrow morning by the latest. So if you're around uh, and you want to stop by the house, I'll, I'll show you a video of what's beneath Floyd's tomb. Oh God, we're never going to find but out, until are we? Then, uh, this has been Ted's Caving Journal. So I guess I'll see you later. Why, you're not going to show us? Bro. So it's going to be a mystery, but what's in there? And in honesty, that's probably the best way to do it when it comes to found footage and horror. Leave the interpretation up to the viewer on what they think it is. Leave them guessing the ending. Leave them guessing what you think it is. Give them hints of what it could be. If you've got a direction of where you want it, what you, it actually is, give them hints about that, but don't just give it all away. You know, you gotta like drip feed 
And I think this series perfectly summarizes how a found footage horror should be done. You start off, it's hopeful, there's an innocence there. You know, you go in with pure intentions of like uh, passion and just hobbying or whatever. And over time, something just creeps in and it starts off slowly to the point where you think it could just be nothing, but then it builds up over time. Now, I've never ever read Ted the Cave of Creepypasta before, but I can assume that this was a good adaptation of said Creepypasta. I feel like this was really, really well done. The acting was very natural, felt very... I don't know, authentic. It genuinely felt like I've, you know, we've literally just picked up some footage of a person who was just filming themselves doing a hobby that went wrong over time. Now, I believe that that whatever is in that cave slash tomb, it's definitely some kind of tomb, was some kind of monster or some kind of virus infection, has something to do with the mind maybe, but maybe the monster can cause paranoia like it can cause like sleep insomnia all this all this stuff but at the same time it calls people to the cave like maybe the 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 hieroglyphs that we saw of the four people at the bottom with this rock like it looked like a coffin being like lowered into a cave almost maybe like they were just attracted almost like it was a siren or something like they couldn't help themselves but to go in and maybe this cave has a bigger death tally than we originally thought and maybe it's just full of people i don't know who found it before and wanted to go have a look and it constantly because you hear the rock that that rock kind of sliding they sound like a rock door closing i feel like maybe they could just close that thing off completely but that was really really good and you guys should definitely go check out alex archives obviously i cut through a lot of that because as of now We've been recording for three hours, which is a lot longer than I expected. It's probably the longest video I've ever done on this channel, but I was hooked, I was engaged, and I really enjoyed this, and I hope you guys did too. So go check out Alex Archives for yourself. Um, go check out all the things I cut out. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you guys thought, and let me know if you've read the Creepypasta before, how this ad adaptation actually came across. Did it justice or didn't do it justice? Let me know down below because I'd love to hear about it. But from what I saw there, that was really freaking cool. There we go, though, guys. That is the end of today's video. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, be sure to go check out Alex Archive, like and subscribe. And if you enjoyed my reaction, why not hit that like button, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, guys.